Hey guys, so I'm back for another video and today I'm going to show you the this Lego sniper I found me. There are remaining pieces that I use for my Lego AK. Remember my Lego AK? If you you need to search to go on my channel and search for my Lego AK 47 AK 103. You need to search for that. So it's just in my channel, search for Matthew Espena. Yes. And then you go for that picture which which has the little M with the arrow on the uh, just, just search for Matthew Spin and yeah, just go search for it. And you can also, you know, you can also follow me on Instagram. Yeah, you can look for my, you know, you just, just look for an Instagram, Matt that everyone with the picture of me doing this, doing this picture, doing this, you know, that kind of uh, so. Um, let's get the gun. There's remaining pieces of the AK, but I'll change. There are some changes. The yeah. You know, let's start. Let's just start. Let, let's start with the barrel. The barrel is long, like an actual. And yeah, I have a actual barrel design, which is kind of nice. King okay, only only downsize this. There's pieces in the way. So how is this made? Is pretty obvious. Oh my gosh, <laughs> rifle must fell. Yes, how is this made? Is I'm going to see there's these when you call these pieces. I don't know what you call these pieces, but it, just when I put them there, look at that. Yeah, cooling at the bottom. Let's see, as you can see, I'll show you how. So, yeah, yeah, as you can see, this is how I put at the bottom. You see, there's a actual jumper plate here Let's put that there yeah it's a full bar barrel and stuff so that's how I do it and on the top there's more jumper plates here jumper plates you can see so let's put it in there. and we have this massive, unbelievable handguard I just made. Look at that. See, this is... Look at that. Just, I put my, my other fingers. I'll show you how I do it. it look at this this thing here. Is where I... How I... Hold the gun. Like, I'll show you how. Here's the, look. This is how I hold it. Like in some sort of C, C clamp like that. I can aim and stuff. Yeah, it's with holes with some few slopes just to give it that design. There's a little design there, the holes and thing. Yeah, and the little. I just want to do some little techniques and stuff. Yes, I'm trying to do some techniques about the whole shape and stuff, the details. It's really cool. These sides, you know, you don't know what these sides, these sides are. And these sides, these these were from the AK, but. And my actual AK-47, I still have it, but, yeah. But the... This is the grip. It'll change. Yeah, this. Maybe the same, except I removed the... The whole slope, those slope bricks. And this left with the... This left with those, all those slopes. Slope tiles. And additional torque plates at the bottom. The trigger card, there's still the actual trigger mechanism, which I used since I built my AK. The mag wall, this is the whole mag wall, which I used in the AK, except it has more. And the magazine, I'm so sorry, but the mag is not Lego, it's rather a piece of box. It's accurate. I know this may sound, this may look childish, but who cares if this is just a box? I am. This is a some sort of technique I'm learning on. Remember my AK? The mag wasn't wasn't Lego, but rather some sort of rail piece. It kind of looks like an actual AK mag, which is good. See, this is a this is supposed to be an 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 oil pastel box, but they put some paper and some lines just to give it that sniper rifle. Sniper rifle, you know, sniper rifle, and yeah, it's right. So this is the trigger guard, which is loose. Yeah, it's wobbly. You can see the rubber band, 
and I have there is tape because the magazine or the I mean the maglow is very loose. Yes, very loose. But yeah, we have some slopes and there's our slope again. We have a scope. The scope isn't Lego also, but look at the scope. The end. There is nothing. There is no hole. This is nothing. This scope was broken. You can see. You can tell by the tape here. Yeah, there's tape. This was supposed to be for my, for my Armalite gun, but it's broken. And someone broke the stock. Yeah, someone broke the stock. My gun it wasn't me. So, this gun is looking nice. I'm not getting sweaty here. I was sweating. So, I have some slopes here. And how did I mount this sniper is pretty simple. I'll show you how. Definitely here is how. You've got this one by one by ten piece and an array and a piece of block to put. That's how I put it. And including some art fight you just put it back. Yeah, it's very hard when you try to put it back on. You just have to do do it from the start. I'm sorry, my ch that chicken is kind of interrupting. So this is kind of hard when you start to put it back. It's not that simple, but it's not. So I have to remove one of these pieces. And you want to see how this gun looks like at the slope? Scope. <laughs> very, very embarrassing. So bad. Like, oh my God, sweating. Yeah, I'm sweating, my guys. So. So I turned on my air conditioner, so I turn my air con, so I will, so this is the, so yeah, the rubber band is he, by here, it has to be attached for the trigger to work, I don't have enough room for the trigger, so. and yeah, I still don't have the scope on, so yeah, and yeah, here, and and we have the most unbelievable thing. The stock. It looks like a modified stock. You're saying, why did you make the stock like that? And there, as you can see, here is the cheek rest. Like, when you're aiming down the scope, but now I don't have the scope, I just took it off. So, yeah, there's the cheek rest here. It is for me to put like that. It's like when I'm aiming the gun, the whole stock and the... Yeah, the designs, obviously, and the whole top of the gun itself. This is very interesting. This is a very interesting sniper. It you can hold it like that. Like, why would I no scope? It's so weird, man. Yeah, it's the cheek rest. This is the stock. Here is the bot stock or the, the bot stock here. It's, it is attached by those. Yeah, the obvious. You can see, you want to see? Yeah, I've attached. Yeah. And you know, we have the most important thing, which is the bolt. Like an actual bolt action sniper rifle. It can also like, go up, but, but you can just do it like that. I just <laughs> in my Lego, my model, I can just do that. I think I, it's better if I do this like a, like that. That's the same of the, of the sniper. So yeah, like that. So yes, this gun is very cool, very cool looking. Kind of took me, uh, you know, a very maybe a few days, two days because I still have the the original AK assembly on. So yeah. So. This gun is so cool. And wait, we have to check about the, uh, the other side. Sorry. We have the safety here and this thing here, which moves along with the trigger. This is safety. Let's see. This is safe. This is fire. Like that. But well, it's safe. But it, too bad it doesn't affect the trigger guard as it should be. So. I hope you enjoyed my video everyone, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And you can also follow me in my Instagram account, just search for uh, you.lebron.
that, that round is currently 29. You know, I'll just show it to you in the link in the description. So, yeah. No, I can't do this kind of stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm just struggling to become a YouTuber, but I'll only upload if I feel like it. So, yeah. That's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye!